Hello all, my name is HexDSL and as most of you know, I do, um, I do YouTube videos where I talk about Linux stuff and games, um, sort of give my opinion on it. But uh, because of that, I seem to have been targeted by the CIA. I received an email today which clearly explains to me that I have been targeted by the CIA um, via Chinese hackers and a detective named John. I'm going to read to you the email exactly as it's come to me, and hopefully you'll understand the predicament I'm in, then we'll, we'll talk a little bit after. So uh, this is the email I've had here from the CIA. You can see at the top clearly, it does say um, the CIA. Uh, you can see there, see Tris Buck at yahoo.com, who obviously is from the CIA. Um, the subject reads, no panic. It's a nice way to start that. It's a good, relaxing way. Like, don't panic. I'm like, okay, about to freak out because I got an email, but now I can just relax a little bit, you know, like that's good. Um, status open complete is the number, urgent priority, which is how I know it's serious. Um, it starts off with just the name John, who as this is the CIA, I assume this is my handler's name. I assume the per like, my, my handler's name will be John. I assume that's John, like John, like introducing himself because obviously my name's not John. I know my name. It's not John. I mean, I, I figure that you guys know that my name is David. But I use the name Hexdias on the internet because David is a very boring name. Um, <clears throat> Hexdias on the post on July 13th, 2020. So 13th, it's the 14th today. So I've got time recording this. So, you know, that just take that into account when we read this. So, <clears throat> Hello. I work as private investigator. Our agency got involved with hacking your channel on YouTube. Your email, phone, cloud storage, network, and data collection. We work with hackers from China to perform similar tasks, and they are the best, which is, I mean, the best hackers in the world are on my case, which is, which is a concern, a deeply held concern for me, because the best hackers in the world are on my case. Okay, so, you know, um, my email address is a matter of public record. I mean, it's hexdsl at postio.net is my email address. It's you can get me on pretty much anything. XDS on anything. You'll, you'll get to me probably eventually. So that's the, it's concerned. the YouTube. I didn't know I had a YouTube channel. I feel like that may be YouTube spelt wrong, but these hackers, are, these people, I mean, John's stressed. I mean, John's obviously looking at my well-being. I shouldn't pull him up on a minor spelling error, obviously, but I assume, unless YouTube is a real site, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. My phone number, which is, I mean, I don't feel, I mean, I feel like phone numbers are a matter of public record, but, you know, I mean, like, I mean, like, I'm not going to give you my phone number, but if you know me and we talk, then I, I would, you know, I'm not, I don't feel like that's a secret is what I'm trying to say. I mean, I'm literally in the phone book. Um, <clears throat> cloud storage, which is, again, the cloud storage, that's a serious problem because I store all the assets and things for the videos on there, which, I mean, it's going to be public knowledge anyways. That's all I store on there, stuff that's going to be public and notes for upcoming videos. So that's going to be public. So that is a problem. Okay, and network, I mean, not entirely sure whether that means my social network or my physical network. Because my physical network, I mean, it's here. I can see the wires. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what that means. Anyway, and data collection. I'm, there's a lot of data out there on me. I mean, I'm, I'm well known for being datary, I guess. I mean, you know, my Steam account, things like that. You know, I, I feel like that stuff is... Anyway, so, so it's serious, as you can see. It's not to be taken lightly. So I'll carry on reading the next paragraph anyway. <clears throat> as you can see, they did a good job. Okay. Your accounts and devices are compromised, but we have to do an ethical protocol in place. But we have, but we do, oh, sorry. That was actually me, not them this time. But we do have, it, it confused me a little bit there because there's no gaps between the full stops and that did throw me a little bit. Maybe it's because John's very busy. Maybe he's typed so much he's spaced. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but we do have an ethical protocol in place after checking the background of your person who paid, or of the person who paid for the hacking and investigation on you. I've decided to come forward and offer you to buy the information about that person, name, contact, emails, and other proof. I mean, I don't want it. I mean, it, I mean, I feel like that's important here. Is so when I hacked me with the best hackers in the world, I mean, they've got my YouTube details. I, I almost don't want to know. I mean, I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I feel like it's too scary. I mean, the CIA are involved. Do I, 
Do I want this information? Do I want to get down that road? I mean, like, you know, before you know it, I'm living in minority report. This is a concern. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to carry on. And also, I, I don't really, I mean, like, it does say here, as you can see. And I mean, I'm looking around a little bit. I, I, I don't see. But, you know, I'm sure this will become apparent after the two-day deadline's up. You also get a report on yourself, including a list of compromised accounts. Compromise accounts, I didn't realize is actually one word. Uh, devices, logs, screenshots, photos, and documents. I mean, I do feel like I already have all these things. I, I have a list of my, of my accounts, compromised or not. I, I know what my devices are. They're here. Um, logs, again, exist on my machine. And screenshots are in a folder that I cloud store. Because, you know, they're stuff I use for videos. So I'm, I'm, I am confused. Anyway, well, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to stop getting sidetracked by reality um <clears throat> we do not disclose sensitive information about our clients but in this case we will be upon review <laughs> upon reviewing this case i found that something illegal was planned against you now i do feel like the chinese hacking was already illegal i'm also not sure why he specified China. i'm not sure why specifying those chinese is relevant because like, they're the best hackers in the world does it matter where they're from anyway I'm, again but I feel like the hack was already illegal. I think that was already the illegal act. But the CIA, I suppose, are authorized because I'm not American. So they can spy on foreigners, I guess, via China, um, which is important, apparently. The materials have collected on you are very sensitive and can be easily used to blackmail you. Okay. We usually address personal and corporate espionage cases, but this case is different. You've received a prepayment of 50% of your case from that person. Total agreed upon cost was $125,000. However, I will give you a discount without any profit for the agency, the CIA being the agency. If you, which again, did not realize in one word, decide to buy this information after we get the payment, I will get back to you. You have two business days to make the transfer. It will cost you 40% of your unpaid balance. So, £125,000, half has been paid. Okay, 40% of that, so $2,500 payment through Bitcoin. In case you have trouble with Bitcoin, Google how to fund it. And now I've then got a Bitcoin to send to this wallet, Bitcoin address. It will be uh, up to you what you do after you get the information, which is very thoughtful of them not to tell me what to do with my own information, which I already know. <laughs> anyway, we will delete all files. The original client will get nothing and we'll never know about our deal. I, mean, I feel like if they get nothing, if they look, you look like incom you're looking. They've paid for this, man. You're ripping them off, not me. I'm getting a bargain here. Uh, please keep in mind, because I need to pay Chinese contractors, again, very important they're Chinese. Uh, and if you decide to climb this offer, I will have to go to the original client and send all. Just, I feel like such a reasonable offer. You know, like this guy's like this guy John, I assume, from the CIA, uh, who is private detective. It's got these hackers. We know exactly where they're from as well, which is very important. They're the best in the world, obviously. And they, 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 they've got information on me, most of which is publicly available, which, you know, I feel like, like most of which is publicly available is something. I mean, it's not, I mean, I'm well documented, you know, for being a big fan of hentai. So I feel like if my web history was to come out, that'd be, I mean, that wouldn't be a shock to anyone, right? I mean, that wouldn't, wouldn't be a shot. I'm not known for being a good Catholic boy, right? Uh, but it's a concern. I wouldn't want people knowing that I really like tentacles. I feel like telling you that already is me already. Anyway, so that's that's something. Anyway, it's, it's nice of him, you know. And, and as I can see, they're very good. They're very they're very efficient. I can, I can apparently see that. So yeah, as you can imagine, guys, I got this email. I was I'm distraught, and I I did reply to John. Um, to tell him that I feel like it would be unreasonable for him to not pay the original client because they paid for a service. And under the rules of capitalism, you pay for a service, especially having, you know, the trust to pay up front. Then I feel like they should probably be given this information. And whoever that is, I assume, will then have a separate conversation with me regarding this information. Um, I also feel that, I mean, I'm not that, I mean, I'm not that interesting, right? Like, if anyone does come to my house, I'll make tea will probably play video games unless they're an asshole in which case i'll go go away just shut the door be like, just go away 
I mean, that I feel like that's, you know, a response which is reasonable. Whereas I feel like, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, did, I mean, I told John, you know, all this. I was like, what? You know, what the hell, John? Like, just, just give him it, you know? I mean, like, phone numbers are public information, really. Like, like my, my name, it works still under my desk. And, you know, just anyway. So if any of you guys get emails like this, um, I think it's important that you two think about what's been said here and decide if it's worth paying or not. Um, because I do, I am confused how he would know I've paid as well. That was another concern. I, mean, I, did, I could, I did point out to him in the email I wrote to him that it's possible for me to just say I've paid it and, you know, how would he know, you know? How would he know? The CIA, man. I mean, I feel like they should have better things to do, really. <sighs> I've been hexed DSL. If you want to help me raise $2,500 to pay the CIA to not spy on me, feel free to join me on patreon.com. Slash XDSL. Goodbye.